Welcome to Pomac Forest located in Peru. Pomac Forest is a strange name for an ancient site with a collection of massive monuments spread over an area of around 6,000 hectares, which is little less than 15,000 acres. The monuments on Pomac Forest are heavily eroded, and from the ground barely recognizable as creations of ancient humans. The area was excavated many times over the decennials. The question that we always ask is this, what is there to excavate if these civilizations are only a few millenniums old? The soils in the region of Peru, where Pomac Forest is located, builds up at a rate of around 2 to 3 feet per 100,000 years. The excavations done at Pomac Forest like we are showing here, are done in packed, dense soil up to a depth of around 8 feet. The depth-age correlation suggests an age of between 200,000 and 400,000 years. This age is way beyond the reach of carbon dating, that only works up to an age of around 60,000 years. Only the organic materials that are salvaged by archaeology, and show results on the mass spectrometer are included in their results, and associated with these structures. The rest, if there is anything really ancient organic material left, is simply neglected. There are many ways that relative young organic materials can travel through soil, even up to a depth of many feet below the surface. Rodents, worms, beetles, termites, ants, and many other organisms can be responsible for transporting organic material from top to bottom, and even vice versa, through the soil. The current methods that archaeologists use to date ancient monuments are unreliable and unscientific. Our probabilistic, mathematical method has shown that ancient sites around the world are many times older than previously believed. Our method is powerful, and uses orientation as the main feature to find its most probable age. We express our claims as a probability. We applied our method to the ancient pyramidal structures of Pomac Forest. The first interesting characteristic, of the five structures on Pomac Forest, is their clockwise orientation. They are seemingly chaotic oriented. The probability for this chaotic clockwise orientation pattern to be the result of coincidence is 3.1%. That means that the probability that there is a significance in this pattern is 97%. The five structures on Pomac Forest are all oriented to our ancient poles. On top of the typical clockwise orientation is this a striking pattern as well. By using computer power, we simulated this typical pattern of Pomac Forest. We ran 10 million simulations on the typical situation of Pomac Forest in relation to our pole 2 to 5. The typical setting of Pomac Forest occurred only 69 times out of 10 million, which is 0.00069%. We corrected this outcome with a very high factor of 167 to suppress the possibility that we were cherry-picking a site like Pomac Forest, because the site could suit our ideas well. The result is a probability of 0.115% that the orientation pattern on Pomac Forest is coincidental. Practical speaking does this mean that Pomac Forest follows our pole positions with a probability of 99.885%. The probability that the structures on Pomac Forest are as old as our consecutive poles is higher than 99.6%. So, they are incredibly old, built by lost civilizations that were wiped away by massive cataclysms. The results show the power of our method. We are not entirely surrendered anymore to the whims of archaeologists, who close down a site for the public during their work. Outsiders cannot look over their shoulders. The times are gone that no one seems to be able to verify their outdated ideas. They have no monopoly anymore on human history. Dating an ancient structure or a site can be done at a distance, supported with the power of mathematics, satellite images, and computer power like we are doing. Welcome to our new scientific era. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with your friends and followers, and let us know what you think below in the comment section.
One last thing. Our work is difficult. And because we tread uncharted territory, our progress is steady but slow. We are not here to entertain you with superficial daily videos. We are here to inform you, and to pave the way to new methods of researching our ancient history. Everything we do takes a lot of time. We are not monetized on YouTube, due to the controversiality of our work. That is why we need your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching.